As 2023 comes to a close, there are new developments in space to look forward to next year. That will include the first humans in a flyover of the moon since the days of Apollo. NBC's Tom Costello has more. Yeah, that's right. Elon Musk, of course, owns SpaceX, and SpaceX right now provides the only way American astronauts can right now get to space on an American rocket. And America's future hopes and dreams for space depend on SpaceX. Three, two, one. We have the that rocket roar and cheering coming from South Texas in November. Stage separation. Was for a much improved second test of Elon Musk's Starship after the first Starship exploded shortly after liftoff. NASA and America have strapped their dreams to that SpaceX rocket. That next flight will be early next year. Then late in the year, NASA's Artemis astronauts will loop around the moon. In 2022, an Artemis test flight orbited the moon with no crew. That is the spaceship that will take the Artemis II crew around the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. This is a nine day mission, a quarter of a million miles just to get there. And this ship is nothing like Apollo to carry Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. It is much more advanced, much more automated. Already they're training at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Mission Commander Reed Weissman, Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Christina Cook, and Canadian fighter pilot Jeremy Hansen. I'm most looking forward to paving the way for the future, back to the moon, onto Mars. The fact that we get to contribute to that, absolutely an honor, the honor of my life. We are proud to be a part of the Artemis generation. We are the Artemis generation, and we are going back to the moon. Later this decade, NASA hopes Artemis and Elon Musk's Starship will rendezvous in lunar orbit, then land on the moon's south pole and begin building a lunar base. China wants to land its own astronauts there by 2030. Also in 2024, Boeing is hoping to finally launch its Starliner spaceship with astronauts to the space station. Many years delayed and well behind arch rival SpaceX. And billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman will command Polaris Dawn, another private mission with three others in a SpaceX rocket set to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown. I caught up with them training in Colorado. Why do this? Why do we need to go into space? I mean, there are questions that we've been asking ourselves since like the, the dawn of civilization, right? That we don't know the answers to and the universe is so big. That Polaris Dawn mission will also feature the first ever spacewalk involving a private astronaut. And they will continue raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Their first mission back in 2021 raised a quarter of a billion dollars for St. Jude. Back to you guys. I could watch these kinds of stories all day. I know, it's amazing. A busy year for space. Coming yes, up. <laughs> a lot going on. And Tom Costello, by the way, gets some unique access to stand right there near the capsule. Absolutely. I'd have a lot of selfies with that. Yeah. Thing. All right.